Hello and welcome to Blog Sprout. I'm LJ. And recently, I had a 50% loss of my traffic and income over the course of one day. What happened? What I do to fix it? We're going to go through everything in this video. So, if you've been following my channel, you know that I recently changed my WordPress theme for my main site this month. And it was overall a relatively seamless process, but I was very nervous about the repercussions of the change. I thought it would help improve my speech. It kind of cleaned up my code. Um, it definitely had some benefits for me in the long run, but for the short term, I was nervous that Google wasn't going to index and like it as much as it did before. So when I saw this 50% decrease in traffic and therefore income, I was freaking out. So, what exactly did I see? So what you're seeing here is the last seven days of uh, my, my daily user count. Com in the blue light blue line is what we saw last week at the same time, so I'm slightly lower this week, um, and that could be due to just publishing, le publishing less content um, throughout the course of this process. But as you can see on the 20th, I had a big drop. It was, it was literally 50% compared to the average of what I've been getting beforehand. So fortunately, I was able to catch this problem during the day that this was happening. I'm one of those people that constantly checks my analytics. I am checking my real time. I'm checking my earnings through a Zoic, my real time visits. And I could see that up to the point, you know, around 12 or one o'clock, something was going wrong with my site, but I couldn't figure out what. So, I went into Google Search Console. Everything supposedly seemed to be fine. There was no reporting issues, but I thought maybe something happened to some of my high traffic sites. You know, I have a couple sites that bring in a bit more traffic than others. So I looked up those main keywords that I normally get a lot of traffic for and noticed that my site had lost a lot of rankings. And then when it actually showed up in the results, there was like no information. It kind of had a little bit of a a, a tag name it had the featured image but no other metadata so this really concerned me and obviously if google was losing track of the page then it was bumping it down so what ended up being the problem well turns out when i um uploaded generate press as my new theme it had its own robots.txt file which is what allows um or disallows, I guess, robots from crawling your site. So it had the following code in its robots.txt. It had a user agent with an asterisk and disallow forward slash. So that means anything with the forward slash after my main domain could not be crawled by any search engines. And where I noticed this first actually was in Bing. I went into the Bing Webmaster Tools and noticed for the last couple days, I had lost pretty significant rankings. So Bing had noticed this and it had affected my site a little bit earlier than it had um, in Google. So as I kind of mentioned before, why was this a problem? Well, they were unable to crawl and index my site. So I lost ranking due to the lack of metadata people couldn't visit and wouldn't want to click through the result in Google because there was no supporting information. You know, if you saw something with that was empty and no data, you'd assume it was spam or something was wrong with the link. So you're not going to click it and that's going to force the rankings to go down even more. So what did I do to fix it? Um, well, I use with my previous theme, I used rank math SEO and I continue to use that. Um, with generate press but apparently there was some disconnect with this robots.txt file so i got a warning from rank math that said to remove the txt file the robots.txt file in my uh, main file editor and then come back to make the changes so that's exactly what i did i went into my files from like from the hosting plan removed the robots.txt file and then the settings that i had from my previous a theme had already been input in rank math and it allowed them to re-index. Um, it wasn't an immediate fix. I did have to go through a couple settings to re-validate and retest for Google to check my robots files. I had to refresh my cache. 
I do a lot of different things. So I'll, I'll put the resources that I use in the link below. But basically what you um, will see, if you have a robots.txt file, it's gonna be in this public HTML. Oops. And that is going to show a robots.txt file. So now in my um, rank math, what you see here is the actual um, robots.txt that I currently have. And this now allows that all the search engine robots, such as Bing and Google, can crawl my site. So why I'm making this presentation is I just want to share with you an issue I've run into and um, how I was able to fix it. And, you know, in this uh, month seven update, I'll definitely show you how things have been coming back if they have. But from what we saw on the on this graph, after that change, I did see a bump back up not all the way back to where I was before, but I still need to give Google and Bing some time to recrawl everything and allow those robots.txt file to be edited. So hopefully this is never a problem you have, but if you notice that you're having uh, this issue, if there's a sudden decrease in traffic from Google, you've recently changed your themes or updated an SEO plugin, this could potentially be the reason that it happens. So hope this was informative and um, you never have to solve this problem that I had. Um, so thanks for watching. This is Blogsprout. I'm LJ and I'll see you in the next video.